Hi everyone, it's Lisa from In the Crafting Cave, and today I'm going to be showing you how I created a card base using the SVG Attic Luau SVG Collection. Now this particular collection does not come with card bases or 3D projects. This collection is for embellishing cards, scrapbook layouts, and uh, invitations and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is walk you through real quick how I take the base to the pineapple here and create a card base to layer our pineapple on. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out and we're going to step over here into our silhouette software and I'm going to pull my pineapple into my work area and get here to my Luau collection and you'll see the Luau collection has a lot of wonderful elements to it and here's our pineapple and we're going to drag the bottom layer the middle layer and the top layers right into our work area so when you get them into your work area here this is what they're going to look like and what the first thing I like to do is collect the fill color and change the colors of each piece to coordinate with the cardstock color I'm using. So once I have that done, the next step I like to take is to stack the pieces on top of each other and then click and select all of them to resize. Once you have them selected, just grab this little box right here and scroll down with it till you're at the size you want to be at. And I'm going with about six inches so that's good there. Now the reason that I stack all of my pieces is because it's much easier for me to see my size with everything stacked on top of each other like it's one piece so than me having two large pieces trying to figure out oh well is that close to six because it's actually going to show a lot bigger than your six inches if this were stacked down here it would show 12, 13 inches. So it's just easier to have them stacked as if they're one piece and then resize them. So the next thing I do is I move these pieces off of my work area. I'm going to go ahead and bring this one to the front and stack it on top of there. And I'm going to go ahead and group these together. So then I'm going to move the middle layer off and this is our bottom layer and this is what we're going to use to create our card base. So the first thing we want to do is right click and copy and paste another one of those into our work area. We're going to move one off to the side because we're actually going to cut this one to create the card base. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to line this little area up here with a straight line on my mat because that's where I want to cut the top of the pineapple off. And remember, wherever you cut, that's where the fold to your card is going to be. So come over here and select the knife button and then just draw you a straight line right across there to cut the top of that pineapple off. Then you can just right click it, cut it, and drop it off your work area. Now you're ready to create your card base. What I noticed while I was creating my card base, the initial one, was that when I assembled it, it wanted to rock a little bit because of the curve of the card base. So you can either just take your scissors and snip that straight across, or if you want to make it a little bit easier on yourself, just drop this down across the line here. Select that knife button again and come down here with a straight line and then you can just take and cut the top, the bottom of this pineapple right off to create a straight line. And we're going to come up and hit our select button. We're going to come down, right click on that little area we cut and just cut it to drop it off our work area. So here we have the piece, the first piece of our card base. The next thing you want to do is right click on that and do a copy and a paste because we need two pieces to create the full card base. So right click the second piece, flip vertically, and then you want to stack these on top of each other so that they're touching and make sure that they're lined up because when you go to fold them, you want them to line up so that you won't be off any. So the next thing I do is I select both pieces and you'll see here we need to weld that area together. We're going to right click and we're going to weld. 
Now we're ready to cut. You can go ahead and cut at this point and use your scoreboard to create this fold or you can add a perforated line. And to do that, you can select your draw line, come over here and select your perforation that you prefer to work with, which is this one for me. And then you can zoom in here and you can draw a straight line straight across here to meet these two areas up. And that's not exactly straight, so I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to move this up so that I get a better line here. And I'm just going to draw this straight across. All right, that's good there. So now what I want to do is zoom out real fast. And now we have our perforated line. One thing you want to remember to do is to click and select everything. Make sure that you've even selected your perforated line and you want to right click and group all of that together. And the reason for that is so that when you move this, you don't leave your lines behind. You, everything stays together. So now you are ready to completely cut and assemble your card. All you have to do is cut your card bases and then go back in and cut your bottom pieces and the middle and then the top pieces and you're ready to assemble your card. They can be used for invitations, they can be used for food table, uh, food labels for your tables. You could completely eliminate the card base, not even worry about it, you can come up here to the draw a rectangle, select that button, and just draw a rectangle right onto your work area, however big you decide you need it to be. Cut some rectangles out. Once you have them cut and you have your pineapples cut and assembled, you can take this rectangle and loop it and attach it to the back side of the pineapple and you can make napkin rings, you can make rings for your water bottles, rings for your cups that your guests can put their names on there. See there's so many options that you can uh, use these this particular file for and um, let me go in and even show you real quick the um, a couple of other pieces with this set that you could do some fun things with. So you could make some center pieces with the tiki bar just by cutting two of each on the tiki bar and then you could create a small little box to go in between the tiki bars and you could put stuff in them. Um, you can also do the same with the pineapple with the palm trees here and the luau this you could make bigger to actually create a banner um, there's just like I said so many wonderful things you could actually take this glass up here which I think it might be a little hard for you to see but it's the lemonade and you could make a shaker card out of this so when you look at these files keep an open mind about what all could be done with these I mean there's a lot of possibilities just with this file here so I hope this helps you I hope I did a good job explaining how I created the card base and I wasn't too confusing for you and I I hope you have a great weekend and you'll join me again. Thanks.